Oven fan elements come in all different sizes and they can be quite varied in how they fit. All of them will have a bracket of some sort, sometimes they're screwed, uh, sometimes the bracket has an earth terminal or doesn't. The electrical terminals can face the other way. Uh, you can get some brackets that have a central hole in them and the electrical terminals are a lot taller than normal. Just compare those. And then you can get some tiny little brackets like that with a central hole in. Um, all these elements are just the same really. They're just going to heat a fan oven up and they also come as a U shape as you can probably see there. This one fits two brackets, two element coils but one circuit because they're joined there. You can also get three coils of heating element. To test the element you need access to a multimeter, this one here, turn the scale to ohms and we're all set to test. This multimeter is auto ranging so if I just connect my crocodile clips up to the two contacts we'll get an automatic reading and that's 32.4 ohms and that's the electrical resistance of the element. If I then move one of the clips down to an earth position and the element is showing overload which means that the resistance is infinite so it's so great the meter can't read it. That's a really good element. Same test on a different element and again touch the crocodile clips to the electrical contacts and automatic 23 ohms on the scale and again touch the bracket and we do an earth insulation and it goes to overload. One more time this element is only 1600 watts slightly different to the others which were 2000 plus and you can see the resistance reading this time is 32.4 reflecting that there's a greater resistance to increase the wattage, the power used by the element. Just test this one to earth as well. So on the electrical terminal, the other crocodile lead on the earth, on the chassis of the element, and there's a good reading. So if you've got an element that's tripping the electrics, this could be the reason why. This element tests OK on the resistance of the heating coil 34.6 but when we do the earth insulation and just put that on the bracket now we can see we've not got overload and we've got 16 meg the auto ranging has automatically gone into the millions so that's a contact between the live and the earth of 18 meg now that is safe because 2 million, 2 meg is the minimum requirement but modern day trips are so sensitive that would trip a trip 18 meg is nowhere near sufficient for modern day electrics in the houses under normal circumstances you won't need to test this element if yours has failed they usually fail round the element earthing and it all collapses completely uh, disrupts the surface uh, sometimes you get a hole blown in it and quite often the element is completely distorted and bent so it's quite obvious usually that your fan element has failed but uh, that's how to test one if you need to know if your fan element does fail on your cooker or your oven then the fan will run with no heat and the control thermostat light on the dashboard will be constantly on. If you're changing your fan element yourself, in nearly all cases you have to take the inner back wall of the oven out. It's usually held by a couple of screws. In some cases you can remove the fan element from there, from the inside of the oven. In other cases you have to remove the oven from the housing 
take the back off and unfasten the element from the rear. Uh, that's a bit of hassle but it can all be done but you have to remember in all cases that you must not only turn the power off but unplug the appliance and disconnect any wiring from a cooker point and that is the only way to be 100% safe. Just to finish, however your element is fitted the replacement should be identical. There are many many copy elements out there and some of them are absolute rubbish and uh, a good element should uh, be a good fit it should fit perfectly and it should last. Uh, if your element's failing within two months, then it was probably not a genuine element when you bought it. That's it. Okay, thanks. Bye.